Learn Dash Trip content lets you deliver your online course content in a predefined schedule. It can ensure a more effective learning experience for the students. In this video, we'll see how to use the Drip content feature in LearnDash. Let's start. As you can see, we have logged into our LearnDash powered WordPress site. LearnDash is already installed on our site and we have already published a course. You can see we have this course published. To use the Drip content feature, we need to have a course published or drafted and we need to have lessons and topics within that course. Drip content can be used on lessons, topics, and quizzes as well. Within this course, we have uh, lessons and topics. So if I click on these topics, over here you can see we have four topics, and if I click on lessons, we have uh, 29 lessons over here. To apply the drip content feature, we have to go to the access settings of the lesson or topic. So let's say I want to apply drip content on my topics. Let's go to the topics section. So let's say this is the first topic and this is the second. So if I want to apply the drip content feature for the second topic, what I'm going to do is click on edit over here. And over here, we're going to click on settings. And when we click on settings, here is the topic access settings. This is the drip content feature. Here you can see it's written control how, where, and when the topic can be accessed. So topic release schedule. There are three options over here, immediately, enrollment based, and specific date. By default, the immediately option is selected. Here it's written, the topic is made available on course enrollment. That means when a student enrolls into a course, the topic will be available to him immediately. Now, if we click on the enrollment based, here it's written the topic will be available X days after course enrollment. Now, if we select this option, here we can select after how many days this topic will be available to the student after his enrollment. So if I type one, okay, so one day, that means this topic will be available to the student one day after course enrollment. Again, if I click on specific date, here I can choose the topic will be available on a specific date. I can choose the month. Over here, you can see months are available in this dropdown. So if I click on August, and then I can choose a date, and then I can also choose a year. Also, I can choose the hours and minute when this specific topic will be available. So after we are done setting up our drip content feature for this topic, we can click on this update button to save our changes. That is how you can set up drip content for your course topics. Now what about lessons? Let's click on this lessons option over here. And we have a lot of these lessons. If I want to apply content drip for this particular lesson, what I need to do is click on edit. And over here, we are going to click on the settings tab, just like before. And here we can see there are various options, but when we scroll down, we will find the same lesson access settings over here. Now there are these three options again, the immediately enrollment based and specific date. So you guys already know how these work. So just like your course topics, you can apply drip content for your lessons too from here. So let's see this in action. I'm going to enable the enrollment based drip content. So I'm going to select it and I'm going to choose one day and then I'm going to click on update. Remember, after every change, you have to click on this update button for the changes to take place. Okay, so I have updated the lesson. Now let's get back to lessons over here and let's go to the website. And this is our website. So I'm going to log out and visit our course page and see if this is working. Okay, so I've logged out of my WordPress account. Now I'm going to go to the course page. And over here, I'm going to select our course. And currently you can see that we are not enrolled. The course is free and we need to log in in order to enroll. So I'm going to click on this button. All right, now I'm going to enter my username and password for my student account. Okay, so I've logged in and now I can click on this take this course button to enroll in this course. Okay, so I have enrolled. Now let's scroll down. And over here, if I expand this lesson, here you can see we can access the first topic, but not the second one. It says over here, available on June 11th, that means tomorrow, 
on 10 11 a.m okay so we can see that the drip content system is working now let's get back to lessons now if this feels a little bit more complicated there's also a simpler way of doing it so if we go to courses and here's the course we are simply going to click on edit now this is just a basic course that we created for this video if you guys want to learn how to create a course using LearnDash, we have a few tutorials on our YouTube channel you can check out, okay? This is the course page. If we go to the builder over here, we can use this builder to create our course content, such as these lessons and topics. If we want to apply the drip content feature for any of these topics or lessons, what we can do is simply click on edit, and then we can go to settings, and here we can access the access settings. That is how you can use the LearnDash course builder to access the drip content feature. So this might be convenient for many of you because all the lessons and topics are available over here right away. You can simply go into each lessons and topics and apply your content drip feature on that, okay? Now, another thing that I wanted to talk about is you can apply the drip content feature on lessons, topics, as well as quizzes. We have a quiz over here. Let's click on edit. And over here, if we look at the builder, we have one question over here. And if you guys want to learn how you can create questions using LearnDash, we have a video on that topic. You can check it out. And if we click on the settings tab over here, the quiz access settings is available. You can see we can select the release schedule of this quiz. So we can click on immediately. That means this quiz will be made available on course enrollment. We can also choose the enrollment based and specific date drip content system for this quiz as well. So that is how you can apply the drip content feature on the quizzes. Now let's get back. Now, if you're looking for more access settings within the course, LearnDash has also a few of those available. If we click on this settings tab over here, you can see the course access settings. Here you can find the access settings for your course. So there are a few options. Let's go through them one by one. We can select open and in this case our course will not be protected and any user can access it. They don't even have to be logged in or enrolled to take this course. We can set it to free, then this course will be free. Students have to be registered, but they can enroll for free. We can also select buy now and set a price for our course. We can also select recurring. Here students have to pay a recurring fee in order to access this course. And the last one is the closed. So if you select this one, your course will be closed. Students won't be able to enroll into your course unless an admin enrolls them manually or by group enrollment or integrations. OK, so these are the course access settings. So that brings our tutorial to an end. It was a short tutorial, but the drip content feature is very useful if you are building online courses. So we hope this video was helpful. If you found this video helpful, give it a like and subscribe to our channel for more helpful videos on WordPress.